Hello and welcome to this overview of the Kramer color system. What I'm going to be doing today is walking you through this keynote here briefly and we're going to be talking about the three parts of our Kramer color system consisting of Kramer permanent oxidative color, Kramer tone on tone which is our true semi or demi permanent color as well as our powder lightener Kramer bleach. So by the end of this video you will have working knowledge of each portion of the system as well as how to read our numbering system, keys for formulation and mixing, how to interpret our color wheel, and how to stay in touch with us. So let's get started with the technologies of Kramer Permanent and Kramer Tone on Tone. So in the upper half of the screen, you'll see the red tube of Kramer Permanent, as well as the Uni Oxy developers that you'll use for the mixing on the right hand side. A key ingredient in Kramer color is vegetable oil and coconut oil, a blend of the two. And these were chosen specifically for their emollient and shine properties. So with this color, you're going to get a ton of shine and a beautiful finish with each and every service. Kramer uses less than 2% ammonia as its alkalizer. If you're interested in exploring an ammonia free option, we do have an additional system in our color family called the Yo Color System which is a yogurt-based ammonia-free line, completely separate from this particular system, but um, ammonia-free, again, for anyone who may be interested in exploring that. If we keep going down the page, Kramer Tone on Tone is ammonia-free. And one of the key ingredients in this particular product is Abyssinian oil, and it was chosen for that same emollient shine-boosting property. So using these two in conjunction with one another, that hair is gonna shine like crazy, and your clients are gonna be walking out of the salon feeling gorgeous and satisfied with their service every time. Each ingredient was chosen specifically and intentionally because of the way they work together to preserve the longevity of the hair color and also support the integrity of the hair. So when you look at a tube of Cayman color, whether that's in Kramer color system or in Yo color system, you'll see that we use a decimal system. The numbers that you see here correspond with the coding that we use, as well as the undertones associated with each number. So on the left hand side of the screen there, you will see the warm natural all the way through the pearls. Those are all of the undertones associated with our color families. Um, there are three components to a tube of color. The level, the primary tone, and the secondary tone. These are a few swatches that can be found within our easy guide and you'll also find them in your swatch books. So we're going to use these. Um, we're going to use these examples of three Kramer shades, 7, 7.2 and 7.24 to further explain how to understand our numbering system. So at the top portion there, we have our standard levels one through 10, which many of us are familiar with. This is coded as a single number by itself, and you can see in the first, uh, that first row there, the naturals as the example, single number. Below that, we have our 0.2 family, which according to our system is beige. When you have a decimal point, the first number after that decimal point will always be your primary tone, or the tone that your eye is gonna detect. So if we look at this example of the 7.2 there, it's that second shade in the beige row, we can see a slightly different finish than that level seven natural. Our 7.2 is gonna be considered a beige level seven. So then we have our third example, the copper beige series or the 0.24 is there. When there are two numbers after the decimal point, the second digit is the primary tone excuse me, the secondary tone. Let me repeat that. When there are two numbers after the decimal point, the second digit is your secondary tone. This secondary tone is either gonna enhance or diminish or kind of subdue your primary tone depending on what it is. So looking at the 7.24 as the example, having that copper secondary tone is gonna enhance that warm finish of our beige primary tone. So you can see there that first number 7.24 is a level seven copper beige. Kramer Permanent is used with 10 through 40 volume Uni Oxy developer as you can see here on this slide. 
your processing times are going to vary depending on your developer choice. So processing times start at 30 minutes at 10 volume and they gradually increase as you work your way through your developers. This is our color wheel and this is one of my favorite, favorite tools. It's like my best friend in the salon. Every shade in Kramer Permanent as well as Kramer Tone on Tone can be found somewhere within this wheel. This wheel is in your easy guide as well as in the back of your physical swatch book so you should have this somewhere. It's separated into two main sections. You can see the brown outer wheel there and then the chromatic inner wheel. I wanted you to see this slide here but you'll see it again after we go through the keys for formulation and mixing. So when you're formulating for a client that has less than 30% white or gray hair, any shade within the chromatic wheel is an appropriate choice. You can pick any, any shade from within that rainbow wheel for your client that has less than 30% white hair and formulate, starting at at least 20 volume. However, if your client has over 50% white hair, then you'll need to intermix shades in order to get full coverage. So in this case, at least half of your formula must come from the outer brown wheel in order to get complete coverage. We have seven specific color families that are able to color white hair with no intermixing necessary. And these are those shades. You can choose any one of these alone to achieve 100% white coverage or you can choose any one of these to intermix into your formula to ensure that coverage that you're looking for. An exception to this rule is gonna be at the bottom, the mahogany gold and ash copper. They're two color families that actually live on the chromatic wheel, but they're able to cover white hair 100% because their tonal composition allows for them to cover white hair completely, which is what makes them a specialty tool or an exception to the rule. So here's the wheel again in its entirety. Every color family lives in correspondence with its undertone. So for example, if we look in the yellow pie slice there, you will see our point threes or our gold series because they live in that yellow slice. Similarly, if we go across the wheel to the violet section, we can see our point sevens there that correspond with that point seven violet undertone and so on for each family and its associated tones. We have two special series, special color series, two high lifts, our 100 series, our super lighteners, or the 1000 series, which are our ultra lighteners. These are intended to be used with 40 volume only on natural hair to achieve the maximum amount of lightness possible without a lightener. Your processing times will be the same, that full processing time of 50 minutes, and your developer choice is gonna differ depending on which one you choose. Within your 100 series, you're going to mix in a one to one and a half ratio, again with that 40 volume. And in your 1000 series, you're gonna be using a little bit more developer, mixing in a one to two ratio with 40 volume. We have two specialty tools, correct, one corrector and one intensifier. Our C13 on uh, that first row there is a anti-red or a corrector. So you can use this, add this into your formula in very small amounts. We like to call them in a, the size of a chocolate chip to balance out or minimize any unwanted red tones. When you're looking at this chart here, you can see your levels across the top and then the amount of C13 that you would use. So for example, if your client is a level three, that's your target, you can use a little bit more of that C13 up to six chocolate chips. However, as you get lighter in level, for example, if your client is a light level eight, nine, or 10, you're gonna wanna be careful how much you use, use less because of those lighter shades. 
Below that, we have the C55 that is used to intensify red tones. So this can be added into your red formulas to really enhance the vibrancy of that particular tone. You can use this a little bit more liberally, however, keep in mind that if you exceed a quarter of your formulation with the C55, you're going to have to add in developer to account for that extra product. So now we'll go into the second portion of the Kramer color system, which is Kramer Tone on Tone. Kramer Tone on Tone was formerly known as coloring. On the left hand side you can see the, the previous packaging. We're now moving into the gray tube here. Um, and is intended to be used in a true semi or demi permanent fashion. With Kramer Tone on Tone you're able to tone, mask a gray hair between 30 and 70 percent. You can enhance your tonal brilliance and shine. There are also a fast acting gray series, especially formulated for men's gray blending. You can be as creative as you'd want to be using Kramer Tone on Tone. And these shades just marry perfectly with every shade in Kramer Permanent. There are two developers within Kramer Tone on Tone. For toning and up to 30% gray blending, six volume will be your best choice. For any subtle shifts in tone or lifting up to one level or up to 70% gray blending, or when you're using our specialty gray series, 16 volume will be your appropriate choice. Your processing times are going to vary depending on the service that you're doing as well as your developer choice. The two specialty series within this line are the Gray Naturals and Illuminating Shades. So we kind of touched on the Gray Naturals already, but with these, you're able to mask white or gray hair and achieve a salt and pepper result. And this can be done in five minutes or less, which makes it a perfect add-on service, quick and easy for those male clients that want to blend out some of their white hair and get a nice uh, natural finish. And the illuminating shades are five specific shades that can be used to create subtle shifts in tones. The third and final component is Kramer Bleach, which is a powder lightener that's able to provide seven levels of lightning and is appropriate for all lightning techniques. Your Kramer Bleach can be used with the same Uni Oxy developer, your 10 through 40 volume. Um, you can use this in a foil, you can use it for your hand painting, you can be as creative as you would like to be with Kramer Bleach. However, we do not recommend the use of heat with any of our products, not with our lightener or with our color. Thank you for watching this overview of the Kramer color system. And we'd love to stay in touch with you. So please keep in contact with us. Get connected with us on any of our social media platforms, as well as joining our customer care on Facebook. You can find that by searching hashtag Cayman Culture in your Facebook uh, search bar. And if you have any questions regarding anything you've seen in this video or would like any additional follow-up, please don't hesitate to reach out to your DSC or sales rep. Thank you again, and I hope you enjoyed watching.